Okay, this is a serious debate. I'm relatively new to the world of mushrooms, but apparently it matters which part of the mushroom you ingest in order to get the maximal benefits. Quick lesson, fruiting body, mycelium. Too many of you commented on my lion's mane experiment video where I used host defense mushrooms, saying that it was absolute trash because host defense uses mycelium alone without any fruiting bodies. You know that I love experiments, and I also like to base conclusions off of facts, not opinions. Now, from the studies that already exist, you'll notice that fruiting body has a slight edge, although there are benefits to both mycelium and fruiting bodies. So I did a 30-day experiment to see whether there was a difference between mycelium-only products versus fruiting body-based products. Not to be dramatic, but the results are shocking. We'll be conducting this experiment using cordyceps mushrooms. It's known to help with energy during strenuous activity by supporting your cardiovascular, respiratory, and immune system. So my strenuous activity of choice is going to be running. Over the 30 days, I'll be recording my distance, speed, heart rate, and lung capacity via breath holds. Are you ready? For the mycelium-only cordyceps, I'm going to be using the infamous Host Defense by Paul Stamets. And for the fruiting body-based cordyceps, I'll be using Oroveda. Here are the supplemental facts for both. To add mystery and remove internal bias, I've asked my helper to transfer these pills into non-branded containers. I have no idea which is which. The schedule for which pills to take will be randomized. This way, I won't be taking the same pill for more than three consecutive days. For anyone who is curious about whether cordyceps actually works in general or not, you can check out my cordyceps versus control experiment right here. I followed the pill intake instructions and took two pills every morning, 30 to 45 minutes before the run. When comparing the pills side by side, the host defense mycelium pill is lighter in color than the Oroveda fruiting body one. All right, let the experiment begin. Pretty sure I was on cordyceps A, and if I had to pick a winner right now, it would be cordyceps A. But if I look at my pace and how fast it was, it was like a full minute faster. So that's all I have to say. I feel freaking lit right now. I feel alive. I feel like I have a lot of energy. Unbelievable. Okay, today was a cordyceps B day. I just beat all my paces from this experiment. Um, I thought I was running pretty slow, but apparently not. Win for cordyceps B, for sure. For this experiment, I ran anywhere between two to five kilometers based on my energy levels. I'm using the Nike Run Club app to track my runs and my Fitbit to track my heart rates. This has quickly become the favorite part of my day. Favorite part of my day. Just finished a run and it's time for our no prep breath hold. All of my breath holds took place after two slow exhales with a heart rate lower than 65 beats per minute. I'm almost at the end of my run experiment. If I were to put a bet on whether mycelium one or fruiting body, I wouldn't be able to tell you honestly. I have had good runs on both. Let's see the results. Cordyceps A was fruiting body and cordyceps B was mycelium. On average, I ran 9% further on fruiting bodies, but it took me only 4% longer to complete these runs. Although one of my fastest run was on mycelium, overall in terms of pace, whether we look at my average fastest or slowest kilometer, fruiting bodies take the lead again. My heart did have to work slightly harder on fruiting body days, but it resulted in a much higher increase to my distance and speed. From a lung capacity perspective, fruiting bodies take the lead yet again with a whopping 9% better breath hold on average. It's surprising to me that when I was going through the experiment, I wasn't able to identify a clear winner. But looking at the data, a winner is loud and clear. This is why it's so important to look at the qualitative experiences and the quantitative data. 
And with that said, enjoy exercising your mind.